All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a couple of real people out there just like you and just like me. So uh, the Super Bowl is coming up, and uh, I just learned that uh, I think we have two national anthems now. I didn't I didn't know that, so I'm going to explore that a little bit as uh, the United States is a weird place to live right now. Um. A lot of the things we grew up with are just they're kind of going by the wayside. And, yeah, I am the old guy on the front porch yelling at the kids, which is ridiculous because I don't feel that old. But yet, uh, you know, the numbers would say otherwise. So before I get to that topic, here is Grand and their album Second to None. Really great melodic rock from the country of Sweden right here. And uh, again, if you like uh, Journey and Toto and Foreigner and some other references thrown into the mix, uh, pick your 80s reference, really. Uh, you'll find something on this that will remind you of something you grew up listening to. And that's what I do here at this channel. It's all about nostalgia, reminiscing, trying to kind of keep the flow of things moving forward, even though we don't have a lot of support for new material like this. So anyway, uh, you should check this out. Maybe use it as a coaster. You can buy multiple copies and put them out during the Super Bowl. And uh, you know, people can put their adult beverages on them and have a great old time. I don't know who's going to be in the Super Bowl as of yet, because I think we have another week to determine that. But uh, in the meantime, the halftime entertainment has been uh, decided uh, for the Super Bowl. And this is Super Bowl number 58. It's coming up faster than a cornerback chasing down a lineman lumbering away after a fumble recovery. This is really good writing here. It's the culmination of a season in which the defending champion struggled. Lamar Jackson made his case for a second MVP. Too many teams lost quarterbacks to injury and the NFL offered Wall-to-wall -wall Taylor Swift coverage. The Super Bowl, however, is never just about the game. Fan tunes in for the tune in for the football as well as the commercials and a host of high-profile musical performances. And by the way, those performances are becoming more and more disconnected with um, what people would like to see. Now, again, I'm speaking for people my age. So when you look at this lineup, there is something for everyone. For instance, Reba McIntyre. She is singing the uh, normal, uh, the, the familiar national anthem. It says here, country music icon Reba McIntyre is kicking off Super Bowl 58 by singing the national anthem. The three-time Grammy winner expressed her gratitude as she prepares to grace the stage uh, next month for the highly anticipated sports event. It's weird now that February is the month we do the Super Bowl, whereas um, not too long ago it was January. But now, you know, we have that in-between week, the bye week or whatever, before the big game. And, you know, you got to give two weeks uh, for all of the hype and people who are going to cover this event. Everything is about the media coverage of everything. Anyway, Reba says, I'm honored to be part of something as big and historic as the Super Bowl coming to Las Vegas for the first time. McIntyre, who is 68 years old, she said this on X. She looks really good for 68, by the way. Um, the fancy crooner will join a star-studded lineup on February 11th at the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. A star-studded lineup. Who else is in this star-studded lineup? Well, Usher, Usher is performing the halftime show. He's an R&B legend. That's what it says. The My Boo singer will take the halftime show stage as a headliner for the first time, but it won't be his first time grabbing the mic during halftime. He, a previous, he previously appeared as a guest during the Black Eyed Peas performance at Super Bowl 55, the singer who recently wrapped up a residency in Las Vegas, wow, that started in 2021 called The Gig, The Honor of a Lifetime. Uh, he has not, however, tipped his hand 
as to what songs he'll perform or who, if anyone, might pop up as a guest performer. Halftime show performances frequently have a litany of A-list guest uh, appearances, but that's not always the case. During last year's halftime show, Rihanna did not bring out any guests and neither did The weekend two years earlier. All right, so uh, you'll notice that uh, there is no rock and roll, folks, so far. We've got Reba McIntyre, who is country, and I like her. And then we have Post Malone. Post Malone will join McIntyre during the pregame festivities. He will sing America the Beautiful, part of a three-song run that has opened the game since 2021. The Circles singer follows in the shoes of Babyface, who sang America the Beautiful during the 2023 Super Bowl. The song has been part of the Super Bowl pregame tradition since 2009. Next is Andra Day. Now, I told you that Reba McIntyre is singing the traditional anthem. Andra Day has been enlisted to sing Lift Every Voice and Sing, often called the Black National Anthem. Now, this is interesting to me because this is really the first I've ever heard of this. I think someone mentioned it to me last year or the year before, and I was like, that's weird. I mean, it's not. Look, folks, um, I'm not against people singing certain songs, but it's weird how now we don't unify as a country anymore, regardless of race or gender or any of these other categories that people uh, want to divide us into and just unite behind one national anthem. Now, I know the original national anthem was written in a time uh, where people owned other people. And I think that's, and it's not like that didn't continue in other countries, in other places around the world, and isn't still going on today, hence this thing called human trafficking, right? Um. But it's weird. We are all fragmenting. We are dividing. We are not unifying. And so as much as this might be an interesting thing to do uh, for specific people who want to hear their song, um, I find it a little bit strange. All right. Um, it says here, the song has been part of the Super Bowl pregame telecast since 2021 when Alicia Keys first sang the song at the sporting event. Day, who announced plans to release her third album this month, is the fourth singer to perform the song at the most watched televised event in the U.S. Mary Mary sang it in 2022, and last year Abbott Elementary's Cheryl Lee Ralph had the honor. And that's the article. The article is done. If you're looking for some information about who might be performing in the rock and roll genre, <laughs> there is nothing. Um, the fact that they threw a bone to older people with Reba McIntyre um, is nice, and uh, it's it's somewhat comforting to know that there's somebody there who I recognize as a talented person. Um, I'm sure these other people are talented. It's just always very R&B and very rap and this modern pop music, which, again, I can't wrap my brain around why it's popular, but it is. I mean, if you go look up, say, Post Malone, one song has like 22 million views on it, if not more. Um, subscribers through the roof. And uh, that's where we're at now. And uh, people like me, well, uh, our love for the old stuff or even just the classic sounding stuff is not enough. Uh, even though we have some disposable income, um, everybody has moved on. I mean, I'm not into technology the way somebody who's say like 30 years old is going to be into that. And the commercials are going to go over my head. This is if I even watch this game, right? I'm not sure who's going to be in it, but if I end up watching a portion of it, I often do it just for the curiosity. Like, who's going to say what, you know? And the fact that they have two national anthems, I think one would be sufficient. Um, 
or they could just mention that there's a song that a certain group of people like that's not really the national anthem, but I don't know. I don't know how you word that because it seems as though a lot of the traditions are eventually going to go away and we're going to have new traditions. You know, I think it was Obama, President Obama, who said that at some point we're going to have to let go of all of these traditions. And it's it's happening. It's happening. And you know what, folks, it doesn't really matter all that much to somebody my age because I had great memories growing up. I remember when the country was way more unified, the 70s and the 80s, even into the 90s. Uh, I didn't really see uh, the kind of um, sort of discord that we have now where everything is focused on what category you're in. Everything is about categories and making sure to check all the boxes and be aware that you're in a certain category. I just don't understand that. Um, this certainly isn't what Martin Luther King talked about, where he said um, you should judge people by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. I think that was a profound statement, and I think most people agree with that. So in any event, um, all that, yeah, all that, I wasted all that energy because I think maybe one national anthem might be enough, but you know what? It might be a great song. I will have to check it out. Um, I don't know if it's national anthem worthy, but for some folks, apparently it is. So there you go. All right. Before I check out here, um, this is grand second to none. Please uh, go and listen. That's your assignment until the next video. Um, also, Patreon, YouTube memberships. Um, financially, this channel is kind of underwater now. I mean, you know, they're trying to raise the minimum wage somewhere. So I, maybe I can say that to the folks over at YouTube. Hey, you know, I'm trying to earn minimum wage here. Can you get me up to that again? In some states, it's like 15, 20 bucks an hour. That wouldn't be too bad, right? Um, but considering that these are supposed to be like children that you send out into the world, the videos, kind of like when the artist writes a song, they send it out into the world and it's like one of their babies. And then, you know, it takes on a life of its own. <laughs> My videos take on a death of their own after they go out. So um, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Continue to pray for peace uh, in the Middle East and around the world. And uh, I will be with you again soon. And uh, thanks again for watching.